If you move to Germany, are you expected to only drink alcohol in social settings? We will find the answer to that in this video, but I think you already know it from the title. Even though Germany ranks among the top countries that drink the most alcohol in the world, it is okay to not drink alcohol in Germany. There is an array of alcohol-free drinks and the trend is just growing. In my experience, I have seen that Germans actually are okay if you say that you don't want to drink alcohol. They accept it, they're socially accepted, which I find it super cool. In this video, we will share our five top alcohol-free options that we love to consume and that maybe you can try as well so you're not just drinking Coke or water or Apfelschorle all night long. Now, the first drink is a very wide array of drink because we're referring to alcohol-free beer. And this is no trend. This has been around in Germany, I would say, at least for the past decade. Mm -hmm. And um, the new thing is that actually also smaller breweries are picking up the trend and providing an alcohol-free option. I was going to share my experience that recently in this year, 2023, I was for a few days in Arizona and I was in an Italian restaurant and I asked the waitress, can I have an alcohol free beer or do you offer alcohol free beer? And she looked at me as if I was speaking Chinese. I was speaking English, by the way. <laughs> and it took like a little bit of back and forth and she replied, yes, we have tap beer. No, alcohol free beer. The manager overheard and like kind of like waved at her like, no, we don't have that. And then she told me, no, sorry, we don't have that. But you could see the confusion in her face. And to be honest, in my whole trip in Arizona and the restaurants that I went to, never did I find an alcohol free beer option in a restaurant to drink. Which I would say in Germany, it is very difficult to find a restaurant or bar. Well, I would say a restaurant that does not offer at least one type of alcohol free beer. I agree, which is amazing, right? So we have tried an array of alcohol-free beers, especially some of the new ones, and here are our top three alcohol-free beers that we enjoy drinking. Our favorite and actually also matching perfect for summer is the 0.0, .0 version of Corona. Yes, there you just pop a lime, obviously cool it down, pop a lime, and then it's really just tastes like the normal Corona. Normal, the alcohol version of Corona. Next up, and it's a little bit more bitter, but still very yummy in taste, is the Heineken 0.0. .0. Yes, that's also amazing for a summer's day, I would say. It really is nice. And a longtime favorite, and I would say actually the pioneer in alcohol-free beers would be the wheat beer, Weizen in German, or Weissbier, depending on the area you are in. And here, one of our favorites is the Erdinger Alkoholfrei. Yes, and here it's important because you mentioned alcohol fry, which is alcohol free versus 0.00. .00. Exactly. And we need to make this clear distinction. In beer, just like in wine, you can see on the label whether the drink is alcohol free or 0.0. .0. Alcohol free means that there could be a potential remaining of alcohol up to 0.5% in the drink versus 0.0, .0 <laughs> means absolutely no alcohol. This actually does not only apply to beer and wine, but also to spirits. True. We will get to that later on. So just be aware on um, what kind of lifestyle you're living. If it's just a choice you don't want to drink or it's another reason that is if it needs to be 0.0, .0 or if it can have a small residue. Yes, I remember when like some of our friends were pregnant, it was really a big deal to actually look for 0.0, .0 drinks because alcohol fry, fry, <laughs> alcohol fry meant that there was still remaining, which obviously is not good for the baby, right? Our second favorite drink is zero proof gin and tonic. Zero proof spirits, which really is just alcohol free spirits, have just been increasing throughout the past, I would feel months, but maybe it's possibly years and we have just realized recently. I would say gins, have, just like with beers, have been there for at least the past five years, I would say. However, more and more other um, spirits are popping up in the market. Yes, we tried alcohol free tequila. That one still still need a little bit of like, I would say maturing in the market because it wasn't necessarily our favorite. But this alcohol free beverage that we're talking about is the gin and tonic. So we have tried an array of alcohol free gins and our favorite is actually this bottle right here. And we bought it on Amazon. If you're interested in trying it out, we will also leave the link in the description below. So it's just a like a traditional gin and tonic. You put a very huge piece of ice. Well, we love it with a lot of ice. A shot of the gin, some tonic water, and we love to put a, how do you say it's like a branch of rosemary and voila, you have a hangover free gin and tonic, which in my opinion, just tastes delicious. Next up in our list of non-alcohol summer drinks is a ginger beer schorle. And Jen's uh, favorite cocktail um, is actually Moscow Mule. And ginger beer is one of the main ingredients in it. So if we just skip the vodka, but take a bottle of ginger beer, add it with uh, some sparkling water in that mm -hmm. case, yeah, yeah. Um, and mix that up, add some ice, of course, that actually tastes very refreshing and is um, 
something new to the typical Apfelschorle. Yes, additional to that, I would say we usually split a ginger beer bottle between the both of us because ginger beer tends to be quite sweet and has a lot of sugar in it. So at least drinking just half feels that you're not drinking all that sugar. <laughs> If you're finding the content of this video valuable, then make sure to hit that like button. And if you would like to get more information on how to settle into life in Germany more, more smoothly, smoothly, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to go the extra mile, you can always donate a virtual coffee at simplegermany.com slash coffee <laughs> to support this channel. Thank you for your support. The fourth drink is alcohol-free wine, specifically Zekt. For those that are not aware, Zekt is the sparkling version of a wine and has been actually, just like with beer, one of the pioneers in the alcohol-free market segment. I would say it's super interesting because I found out about Zekt when I moved to Germany because Germans love to have the so-called Zekt Empfang. Mm -hmm. Ah, very good. And this is traditional to celebrate, uh, well, this is for weddings specifically, but also to celebrate big events or like big achievements, you usually celebrate with a glass of Zekt um, instead, of, instead of champagne because... Yeah, it's just a more affordable option of champagne. Yes, and I would say sometimes even yummier than champagne. I Depends agree. on the champagne and the Zekt, but yeah. generally speaking. Plus, I, don't, I have not seen alcohol-free champagne. True, not yet, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so when it comes to alcohol-free Zekt, you can find an array in supermarkets, but also vineyards actually have their own version, so there's really an abundance and choice. We usually cool it down and sometimes also add berries, like fresh strawberries mm -hmm. or blueberries or raspberries to give it a little twist. And it's um, yeah, a fancy drink that is alcohol-free. Yes, and also perfect if you need to celebrate anything with anyone, you can bring an alcohol-free Zek bottle and it's totally fine as well. Fifth one on our list is the Zero Proof Aperol Spritz Alternative. Now, Aperol is a brand of actually Italian aperitif, I think it's what it's called, and it's just a brand. But now there's an array of these orange bitters that it's like, I think the, I, I cannot even keep up with the amount of brands. And so far we haven't tried any of these Zero Proof options that we haven't liked, right? They all taste pretty similar and pretty good. So again, just like an Aperol Spritz, but this is the alternative. Some also a little bit closer to Campari in bitterness, yeah. Yes, yes, some are a little bit more bitter than others, but I personally love the taste. So you can either take one of these orange bitters. Crodino is a really popular option, which is comes like in a little bottle. And again, the same procedure as an Aperol Spritz, take a glass, put some ice, dump the orange Italian aperitif bitter. <laughs> um, you can mix it with either alcohol-free Zekt or tonic, we have found out works very well. And enjoy. Add a slice of orange. A slice of orange, that's very and true. Enjoy, yeah. And enjoy. Oh my God, that's also so delicious. I can drink so many. Again, I think this one is also quite sweet in taste and sometimes bitter, but the sugar level is quite high. However, it really feels like summer. And this version of a drink we've also found more often in restaurants. Sometimes they say Crodino, like the, um, the little bottle we just mentioned. Sometimes they actually say alcohol-free um, or a, like a virgin Aperol Spritz because it's just the more common um, terminology of a drink. So just look for those words and you should be able to find it. Yes, and I think the moral of the story here is that if you go out to a restaurant or a club or wherever and you don't want to drink alcohol, it's totally fine. And don't be shy to ask the bartender to make something alcohol-free for you. They will be more than happy to. And if you are there and it's the moment to pay and you don't know, oh my God, how much tips should I give to them, then make sure to check out our video on how to tip in Germany, which we have here. Until next time, cheers! Next up in our favorite um, non-alcohol-free... Non-alcohol-free, <laughs> Non-alcohol-free. <laughs>